everyone. It's your friendly neighborhood art teacher again, here to give you another step in a project. So I have my eight inch by eight inch square drawing of a pair, a single object, on a background with a horizon line behind it. And I am going to take some crayons and make a collection of dots on my shape and in the background. So what I'm doing is drawing circles, not quite dots because it would take way too long to just tap at things with a crayon. I'm leaving a little space in between because I'm going to make more than one color on my pair. I want to combine colors. I have probably a little more of a selection of colors than you folks might, but if you have a lot of colors and you want to do it this way, feel free. So I'm making them smaller than the size of an eraser. This is probably about the same size as a pencil eraser. You can make your dots a little bigger if you wanna make them this big around, but I like the way the smaller ones are gonna look. So I'm combining a couple of different colors on my pair itself, and I'm gonna do the same thing in the background, and I might even use some of the colors in the background that I'm using on the foreground. So I'm gonna start with some blues, make some circles, and I'm eventually gonna fill up this whole paper with circles or dots, whatever you wanna call them. And I'm pressing down hard enough that they're solid, that they're not sort of disappearing. I'm gonna switch to a slightly different color here. Maybe put some of this in with that one. I wanna make sure I'm not covering the entire piece of paper because I'm going to do something else with that next week. So here I've got two colors going on in here and I can sort of slowly fade it out and add in a third color. Here is yet another color of blue. I'm gonna fill this whole background with blues. And then I'm gonna go down here and probably put in maybe some reds and pinks and oranges. Um, but I just wanted to show you how big your shapes, your circles and dots should be. And then I'm gonna do the rest on a time lapse.